all the water in the world, no matter how it tried, could ever sink the smallest ship until it got inside. All the evil in the world and every kind of sin could never damn a human soul unless we let it in. Unfortunately, we cannot proclaim that all is well in Zion. We find that we Latter-day Saints are also vulnerable to the destructive forces of evil that are all about us in the sin-sick world. <clears throat> of the greatest concern in this day are these evils which tear at the fabric of the home and the family. Most of the sitcoms, dramas, and reality shows contain immorality, violence, and subtle ridicule of traditional values and traditional families. Each year, the new shows seem to get worse, pushing the envelope of what the public will accept. What comes out of Hollywood and off the internet and in much of today's music creates a web of decadence that can trap our children and endanger all of us. We have virtually given the monopoly to the world of primetime TV, glorifying the four things Mormon says will destroy a civilization, the lust for power, riches, popularity, and the desires of the flesh. Largely because of television, instead of looking over into that spacious building, we are an event fact living inside of it that's your fate in this generation you're living in that great and spacious building we need continually to fortify our homes and families and defend them against the onslaught of evil such evils are very real and very threatening one has but to read the headlines of our newspapers and magazines to become frighteningly aware of the crumbling, destructive influences which surround us. I add my own voice of warning, specifically concerning today's media and the powerful negative effect it can have on families and on family life. The choices we make in media can be, can be symbolic of the choices we make in life. If we choose the trendy and the titillating and the touty in TV programs or watch movies can cause us to end up, if we're not careful, choosing the same things in the way we live our lives. If we do not make good choices, the media can devastate our families and pull our children away from the narrow gospel path. You too live in a time of war the spiritual war that will never end. War itself now dominates the affairs of mankind. Your world at war has lost its innocence. There's nothing however crude or unworthy that is not deemed acceptable for movies or plays or music or conversation. The world seems to be turned upside down. We can live in the world, brothers and sisters, without letting the world into us. We have the gospel message that can carry men and women buoyantly through the mist of darkness to the source of all light. We can raise children who have been taught to discern and to make personal righteous decisions. We must worship the Lord in truth and keep all of His commandments. We must seek for an enlarged capacity to influence the world to, toward a return to righteousness and a pure love of God. May the Lord bless us in all our homes and families as we strive to draw nearer to Him and keep His commandments. I humbly pray, my beloved brothers and sisters whom we love, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.